Well, that's exactly right, Doug and Rachel. But what's remarkable is just how much the water has gone down today. As you can see, there's still a considerable amount of water behind me, but I'm about five foot eight. Let's stand right here next to this telephone pole. This is the high water mark you know, from just a few days ago. You can see it hits me in the chest. Now, if we come over this way, you can still see how high the water really is all the way down that road. There is a car that is completely submerged, so which is almost unfathomable, but it just shows you how much water still has to go back into the river. As the rain continues to fall over Jeffersonville, roads are slowly reopening as the river recedes. Moving the barricades was the first step. We got a long way to go. Everywhere you look is seemingly covered in mud and debris. I'm not going to put people in jeopardy down here along the banks of, of trying to clean up an obvious mess until I know it's safe for them to be here. Upstream in Utica, it's a similar scene. That's part of nature, I imagine. Flooding has kept veteran David Spencer out of his home since Friday. I got it to the first step of the porch. Not too high. As crews work to restore power, Spencer's worried what he's going to find once he returns home. You know, the meat and things in the freezer and all that's go not going to be too good, I don't guess. But according to Laura Lindley of the Clark County Health Department, spoiled food might be the least of Spencer's worries. Well, there's nasty stuff in the water, but also on the land. That's why she says everyone needs a tetanus shot if you're going to be involved in the cleanup. You never know what you're going to step on. Uh, you get a puncture wound. You need to be protected. Uh, there's sewage in the water. We're going to assume that everything is contaminated. Now, we can't reiterate how important that tetanus shot is. Our photographer, Chris Bryant, actually took advantage of it earlier today. He got his tetanus shot because he's been running around out here in these waters for the last week, really. Now, if you still want to take advantage of that free tetanus shot, you can go by the Clark County Health Department on Thursday and Friday and get one for free. All you have to do is sign up. Or if you live here in Utica, you can come back to the Utica Town Hall on Saturday between 10 and 6, and you can get that tetanus shot once again for free. Live in Utica, Holden Krewicki, WHAS 11 News.